everybody and finally welcome back to enter the wolf time guys and welcome back to another new series guys i've kind of exhausted a lot of the possibilities for my mechanicus and i probably still will be coming back for it so here's something different in the meantime so guys if you've been following my facebook page and also if you've watched the intro to this video you will probably know that i am starting another new army and yes that army is orcs and there's a little gretchen there just to prove it uh, but anyway guys so and um, what am i actually going to be doing well i want to try and keep this a small army as i normally say which it doesn't actually end up being it only ends up being this huge sprawling mess of miniatures which is absolutely crazy and some crazy conversions and stuff and whilst there will be some incredibly crazy conversions i do want to add um, some more stock back to my bits box collection and i want to explore the possibilities with the new uh, orc kits and stuff like that um, first thing we're going to look at, speaking of which, is the new Killer Can set. Now, when I say new, it's not actually new, it's five years old, but it's new to me considering the last Killer Cans I got were the old metal ones. Now, I've got these three guys to start off with, I did these over the weekend, um, just because I wanted to get my eye in a little bit for orcs and stuff like that, and I just wanted to do a little bit more experimentation with effects, namely uh, rust and oil and grime and stuff like that. So I thought the orcs would be the perfect, perfect ones to go for. Um, but first and foremost, let's talk about the actual killer can kit. I've got to admit, it's a very, very good value money for kit. Uh, blah, blah, very, very good value for, yeah. Very, it's very, very good value for money. Um, it's about 20 odd quid and you get obviously three killer cans and they're very, very detailed, very, very potable, lots of different combinations you can do. Um, however, I do have a few minor grumbles about it. The first grumble is that they are a little bit confusing to put together. There's no actual proper direction as to how to build it. Like A lot of the newer kits now that I'm used to building, they are... Shut up, compressor. Why does my compressor always, always interrupt me when I'm speaking? Shut the fuck up. Let me try to turn it off. Ah, there we go, and it's off. Um, but yeah, so, um, they, with the newer kits, they're all numbered now, which makes it incredibly useful um, in when building it. So you can actually match up the parts on the sprue um, to the parts on the instructions and stuff, whereas the kill can, I don't think they're numbered anyway. Let me just have a look at the, uh, the instructions here. Uh, no, there's no, there's no numbers on them. And just to prove that I'm um, not lying, here's the kit. Here's um, the assembly and stuff for the legs, which I found the con most confusing. Namely, which the most confusing are these kind of weird, like uh, jointed legs with the knees. These ones really, really easy, um, but these type here are really, really piss takingly annoying to put together. Um, because, like I say, it's hard to kind of get a feel for it. I know it shows you the diagrams of which way it's supposed to go, but I still struggled a little bit. Um, secondly, uh, the other little grumble that I have about the Killer Cam kit is the fact that you don't get a lot of weapon options. For example, Grotzookas, which I'm told by Mr. Pidge are the best weapons to arm killer cans with, mainly because you don't have to hit and blah 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 blah. Um, you only get one Grotzooka, and it's this fella here, like this. Um, now, cool as the Grotzooka is, there's like I say, there's only that one, there's not much variation. So what I've had to do, I've had to resort to using the missile launcher, which I'm going to count as a Grotzooka, and then I had to kind of make my own one out of a bit of a tank barrel going on here, uh, and it looks pretty good, you know, it, it kind of looks a little bit stuck on, I probably could have done a little bit better to, to attach it, but it was my first little attempt at painting and building something in a good couple of months, so I thought I'd go easy on myself. Um, however, some of the redeeming factors of it are, they are incredibly stompy, incredibly killed and just the close combo weapons are just so vicious. Just look at these close combat weapons here. You've got some crazy buzzsaw claw going on here. You've got a chainsaw, pinchy pincer. You've got a crazy ass drill. And you also get another close combat weapon in there as well to add it up for a bit of variation. Um, another good thing is that they are somewhat modular in regards to um, the accessories you can do. So for example, like this like um, toothy bit here on this one, you know, this like iron gob, and then this these two horns here, then this little skirt bit going on. Really, really cool. Um, uh, one more grumble to add the grumble list as well as the shoulder pads. Um, 
it didn't actually say how to put them on properly, so I kind of just improvised. And I don't think they're on quite right, as when I was painting them, they kept falling off. However, to add a bit more variation, I've kind of left this one shoulder padless, um, just to make it look a little bit different, because in the end, I want to do a two units of five of these. Now, you might be wondering why two units of five, and that is because I'm doing a dread mob list, meaning the model count's going to be small, and it means I don't have to paint loads of boys, because I hate painting on little straps and stuff on the Orc boys, uh, as well as a lot of people do. And, like, green and stuff, I, re I find it really annoying to paint as well, especially when you're doing, like, other colours and things. It just it just winds me up immensely. Um, but, yeah, so a sea of twisted metal is what I'm going for. Now, one of the things that I've experimented with on these, I actually picked up these the other day. Uh, I picked up a set of the Crusted Rust Deposits from AK Interactive. Now, you get three. You get a light one you get a medium one, which looks pretty much the same when it's actually on the miniature, and then you get a dark one. Now, I've not used the dark one uh, because I wanted a proper fresh, not proper fresh, juicy, bright orange rust color that you get, so I didn't use that. Instead, I stuck to using um, these two here. I sprayed them basically fully silver, then pumped this through my airbrush, the light rush deposits, and then after I'd kind of like overbrushed with some more metal, dulled it down again with some agrax, I then went back in with the medium rust deposits and some of the areas that I wanted to pick out on there. So it leaves you with these really, really nice rust deposits. Now, it might be a little bit difficult for me to show you because my lighting isn't optimum at the moment, but we've got some lovely rust going on here, um, and especially like the joints and stuff like that. Um, this, in fact, no, this one is probably uh, my uh, favourite one, just because of the rust on the hatch here. And then we've got some nice, really thick rust deposits going on, on some of the vents and things, and on the backs of the engines. And I think this one's probably got, no, not that, not that one. Uh... I can't quite tell what I've done, especially from this angle. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I wanted to kind of go for just a bare metal look for these with some slight accents of colour. Um, if you've known my previous Orc stuff in the past, you know that I really love looters and I love blue on Orcs because it's a really, really nice striking colour and it just makes them stand out and really makes them pop. Uh, so I kind of went for some uh, blue accent points on these, not to detract from the actual overall clunky rustedness that I wanted to go for. I also added some other metals and stuff, like we got some brassy colours here, and then we got some bronze and stuff on the gears and things, with loads of engine oil effects and things like that, and they turned out absolutely fantastic, I think. I also wanted to add a little bit more colour, so I threw in some white there, so I think I'm going to go for white and blue as my actual clan colours, as I'm doing a dread mob list, and, um, and some like other little colours on here, like red on the cabling and black on the cabling. I even went as far as to do a little bit of, do I have any any bits to show you? Like some little examples, like the little yellow lightning bolts here on the power switches and the power couplings and things. But they turned out really, really well. Um, I think that, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to get a couple more of these and then just like randomly bash them together with other little bits that I've got knocking about. Uh, but you're going to see a lot more Orc stuff uh, coming in the future, guys. Um, one of the things that you've noticed that these aren't actually based and I don't know quite how I'm going to base them yet. I don't know whether to do kind of like... You know, a dirty, muddy junkyard feel with loads of, like, random bits just stuck into the base. You know, little gears and cogs and worky bits and just, like, battlefield debris and things. Or whether I'm going to do just, like, grass. Uh, I I'm really not sure. If you have a suggestion, guys, leave it in the comment section in the doobly-doo down below. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. And um, I will uh, get cracking with the next video. Seriously, guys, some awesome's coming. I've got it on my desk over there. But you're not seeing it yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Not yet. Um, but, yeah, guys, let me know what you think of these. And like I say, first time I've attempted to paint the new uh, Killer Can kits. Well, not really new, five years old kit. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be dreads, there's going to be tanks, lots of tanks. And um, there's going to be mega knobs, there's going to be all kinds of crazy stuff coming out and soon. So uh, I'm going to leave this video where it is, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. Don't forget to share it as well. And don't forget to leave a comment in the doobly doo down below. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys again. See you now and goodbye.